Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Holy Monday to Zay Prayer. Dear brothers and sisters, on this Holy Monday, we are invited to look upon the cross. It is the privileged place where the love of God is revealed and shown to us. On the cross, human misery and divine mercy meet. The adoration of this unlimited mercy is for man the only way to open himself to the mystery which the cross reveals. 
The cross is planted in the earth and would seem to extend its roots in human malice. But it reaches up, pointing as it were to the heavens, pointing to the goodness of God. By means of the cross of Christ, the evil one has been defeated. Death is overcome. Life is given to us. Hope is restored, light is imparted. Not only did Christ Jesus become man in everything similar to human beings, but he took on the condition of a servant and humbled himself even more by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Through the mystery of your cross and your resurrection, save us, O Lord. Amen.
Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord. For I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord. For to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress, I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God.
Jesus said, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted from the earth, will draw all people to myself. The necessity of Christ's death is here brightly expressed, and its proper operations and fruit, life springing forth out of death. This was uttered to explain what he had said of his death as the hour of his own glorification, and to sustain his own spirit under the agitation which was mysteriously coming over the view of that death.
prayer will now continue with a few moments of contemplation. Let our response be glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Christ, to whom would we go? You have the words of eternal life. May your word enlighten us. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Christ, you tell us. You are the salt of the earth. May your word enlighten us. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Christ, you tell us, love your enemies. May your word enlighten us. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Christ, you tell us, do good. To those who hate you, may your word enlighten us. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Christ, you tell us, be merciful. May your word enlighten us. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Christ, you tell us, pray. Ask, seek, and you will find. May your word enlighten us. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Christ, you tell us, seek first the kingdom of God. May your word enlighten us. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
together with Jesus, we pray to God our Father, so He may guide us in discovering a new life with His love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jesus, our joy, when we realize that you love us, something in us is soothed and even transformed. We ask you, what do you want from me? And by the Holy Spirit, you reply, let nothing trouble you. I am praying in you. Dare to give your life. Christ Jesus, when temptation urges us to abandon you, you pray within us, and you encourage us not to remain in darkness, but to live in your light. Living God, we praise you for the multitudes of women, men, young people, and children who across the earth are striving to be witnesses to peace, to trust, and to reconciliation. Amen. Close this evening worship. We will pray the Oratio Imperata all together. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 novel coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace, for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, 
and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you.